They're called the lake houses at Eagle Cove for good reason. And he's there on and off throughout the day. Every time I'm down here at Eagle Cove, uh, I'll run into him if I'm here for more than an hour. And it is lake houses, plural, because you get three main houses, a guest house and a boat house, a five for one deal. It really is its own family compound. It's, it's gated, it's a private, it's really, you're purchasing your own community. You can hear the whistles from the Seahawks headquarters just a four minute walk away. Players and coaches have stayed here. You'd never have an excuse to be late to practice. The family that owns the property sold the land to the north to the Hawks, but they kept this little slice. And the story goes that Robert's dad basically said, hey, this land down here, this is unusable. This isn't anything that you could ever build on. And Robert took that as a personal challenge to go ahead and build it. Build it, he did in 2006. The family history here dates back to Robert's grandparents. And it goes back to 1934 when the Cugini family settled here and actually started a sawmill. You can see the boathouse in this photo of the old mill, which operated from the 1930s to the early 2000s. The other remaining structure is now the guest house, but used to be the guard house. Classic and contemporary come together here. It is indeed the kind of place you'll find featured in a magazine. There's a quirky oyster shucking sink in the kitchen, a 1200 bottle wine cellar below, and from the master suite, you can keep an eye on your boats, for which you have ample dock space below and your own boat launch. It's really like its own little marina. And it could be your own little world.